<clears throat> so this is without the pedal engaged. <laughs> This is the pedal set on bright with gain and attack set at 12 o'clock. Or, yes, yeah, 12 o'clock on bright, which will give you the most jangly sound. <laughs> sustain pretty much goes on forever. Um, if I put it on normal, it just takes the same signal. And it's quite noiseless actually. It just takes the same signal and you know, compresses it and so it makes it sustain. <laughs> Sorry, applications besides just jangle and then right here is I'm gonna stick it on dark which gives it a bit of a muddier sound I guess <laughs> applications where you don't necessarily want it super jangly. So this is the sound with the pedal off. <laughs> Everything on, well, bright switch um, with the gain at just between two and three, and same with the attack. And you get some really great, sort of strange, clunky, but jangly sounds out of it. It can be pretty brash, but it can also be really sweet and chime, which is why I like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
much the jangle box. It's a good pedal. Um, I guess, I mean, it's not the cheapest pedal on the planet, which is probably why, um, I don't know, a lot of people don't want it or haven't bought it. Um, but it does a sound that you can't really get unless you have a really nice tube compressor, a Rickenbacker, and a Vox amp. Or, I don't know, I guess a deluxe reverb. Um, so it does something that a lot of other a lot of other far more expensive gear uh, can do, but it does it in this little box. And so for me, it's I don't think I would get rid of it at any point unless I decided I suddenly was into metal, which I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> 